welcome. Thank you all for coming out. The dedication of the Christmas wave. Okay, so I was really lucky. I got to ride the fire truck. It is so cool. But the downside is they dropped me up there. So, one moment. All right, I'm good. At my age. Did you have fun? Was it a great parade? There had to be like 3,000 people out here today on the sidewalk. It was terrific. It, it, was, it was really great. Okay, so, of course, we're leading up to uh, the blessing of the weed here, and we have uh, a lot of people that uh, we've invited to have a, a little conversation with you. Yeah. By the way, hi, my name is Rick Jensen from WDEL, 1017 FM, 1150 AM, and it's always my honor, hey. my honor to be here. Claymont, where the weed, okay, we're gonna get a little exercise right now. Because to me, the Christmas weed so represents Claymont. We get knocked down. We get up again. Nobody's going to keep us down. We get knocked down. We get up again. Nobody's going to keep us down. Come on. We get knocked down. We get up again. Nobody's going to keep us down. And that, my friends, is the Christmas weed. Just the way I figure it. We do have some, uh, some politicians and uh, elected officials. People who are actually very, very helpful to a lot of things that uh, you want to get done here. And as appreciation, we'll bring them up and have them speak for 45 seconds. <laughs> yes, I do it this way every year. Everyone seems to appreciate it. If you can't get it done in 45 seconds, please go practice and rehearse for next year. <laughs> and at 44 seconds, I bring out the hook. Is that okay? Yeah. All righty. Uh, is is uh, Governor-elect uh, Congressman John Carney here? He sends his condolences. He wishes he could be here. Say yay. yay. He was in the parade. Yeah, he and then he walked the wrong way because he smelled the donuts. No, he said he's at the Darley House. State, yes, he said Darley House. State Representative Brian Short. Is Brian here? I saw him earlier. He's a good guy. We all like him. Say yay, Brian. Yay. I love this. It keeps it so short. Now, someone needs to tell State Senator Harris McDowell, 45 seconds. Come on, my friend. Good to see you. And ready and go. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Claymont. Now, we, we, we all know, um, and now should, can we add the extra 42 seconds to John Cartier? No, okay. He, he just wants to know, that's fine. Uh, is uh, State Auditor Tom Wagner here? On the count of, he was here, he loves you. On the count of three, yay Tom, one, two, three. Yay Tom! All right, now, unfortunately, John does have a lot to say, but you don't get the extra 41 seconds from uh, Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you've been to the civic meetings, you've seen him before, John Cartier. Yay! Thank you, brother. Merry Christmas, Claymont. And I'm here today to decorate, once again, the Christmas weed! And I have also with me my mother. Come on, Mom, come yeah. up here. My mother's coming with us today. Yeah. All right. And I have my niece and nephew, and we're going to decorate the weed. Thank you, Claymont. Happy New Year. Have a safe and enjoyable holiday season. Thank you. That was 45 seconds. But if it wasn't, I'm not going to be the one to kick Mom off the stage. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, wow, what, what a great, uh, crazy race it was for uh, Newcastle County uh, President. Uh, is uh, Karen Hartley-Nagel here? One, two, three. Uh, yay, Karen! All righty. they're getting sandwiches at the Darley House. They're getting sandwiches at the Darley House. They're getting sandwiches at the House. And we will be, too, in a moment. Uh, Mike Kosakowski, Newcastle County Recorder of Deeds, who actually uh, was driving uh, Jim Thornton. Uh, Jim Thornton, everybody! Yeah. Director of the Claymont Community Center. Now, I want to bring up our good friend, Baba. You have a few things to say about the organization. And, uh, oh, and Deborah Heffernan. Deborah Heffernan, say hi, Deborah. Hi. Come on up here for 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everyone, and Happy Holidays. Bye. Yeah. Okay, I'm banking all these minutes for next year. You've all done very, very, very well. And Babak has a few words of uh, gratitude for folks who worked very hard on this year's very successful parade and everything else. 
Hi, my, my name is Baba Kovalev. I'm president of coalition. We organize this parade every year. Yay! I want to thank everyone. I want to thank every, uh, the Delaware State Police, Delaware County, Newcastle County Police, Yay! and the fire police who have helped us with the traffic and everything else. And also want to thank Barbara Harbin, who spearheaded this effort this year, like all uh, previous years. And thanks everyone for coming. Enjoy your holiday. Oh, the weather was beautiful. And really, there had to be, what, 3,000 people out this year? Fantastic. We want to thank our monetary supporters of the parade. Uh, Claymont Historical Society, Newcastle County Councilman John Cartier, uh, Cartier, and I know. I'm just kidding you. American Legion, uh, RC DuPont Post 18, Sharp Insurance Incorporated, your local GEICO office. And the lizard is still back there trying to finish. Fox Point Babe Ruth League. Yay! And Representative Brian Short. It's good that you go to these guys and pick their pockets for a little bit of money. I like that. It's very nice. Well done. Advertising support. Reva Brown of Stone School submitted all the claim on events for today to various advertising and news venues. Naaman's Beverage Mart at 109 Naaman's Road featured the parade information on their electronic sign. WDEL and WSDW, Frank Gregory, my co-worker, broadcasting live all morning long from the fire station. Big round of applause for Frank. Uh, Rick Jensen, yeah, you're welcome, thanks. I love you guys. Every year I help promote this and I'm going to do even more with the fire station, the fire service, and the volunteer firefighters because we know they need a lot of help with uh, recruitment as well. Enterprise Flasher Company, traffic control signs and all kind of stuff. Now, can we bring in the chorus? Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Claymont Community Chorus singing the original song, The Christmas Weed. Yes? Okay, the blessing? I'm terribly sorry. Um, here, let me do it this way. Now, please welcome the session pastor for the blessing in this order. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I want to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you on behalf of the people of the Episcopal Church of the Ascension right here in this corner of Claymont and has been here for many, many years. We're so glad that you're here. My name is Katlyn Solak and I'm the pastor here and I'm so glad that you're here. And now we will ask for God's blessing. In our tradition, I will say God be with you and you will return that and say also, and also with you and then I will say a prayer. God be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Accept, O oh Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for our community here in Claymont, for all the people who serve in public service for the common good, for all the people who live and work in this community. We thank you for this beautiful day and for the wonderful community spirit engendered by this festive festive Christmas parade and we ask you to bless this weed that we're about to decorate which represents a great tradition and the persevering spirit of the people of Claymont. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to also ask a question because I have last year's 2015 Claymont Christmas Parade DVD. I think people can get these, right? Yeah. You can get them? Right here. Right there. And how much are they? Free. They're free. So bring all that money up there and pick yours up from last year. And thank you to DDVF, Digital, uh, Delaware Digital Video Factory. They do this every year for free. Video, edit, produce. You know, the thing about this, this Play My Christmas Parade is you have so many volunteers, people saying, yeah, let me chip in some money. Yeah, let me share my time and talent and everything. What a great community event. What a great community. Big round of applause for everybody involved. And now, the Claymont Community Chorus singing the original song, The Christmas Weed, written by Andrew R. McGee. And we also have some lyric handouts. You have yours? Okay, we want you to lend your voices. 
On a concrete island on an overpass, a crack appeared, then a blade of grass. The wind blew up and bore a sea, and in that crack there grew a weed. A weed, a weed, a bonny weed. It grew to maturity from a seed. It's a miracle they say, oh yes indeed. And you had it right here in Claymont. Now the wheat grew up while all around. Conditions were so harsh on that fallow ground. Through a concrete barrier, the stock kit came. But our bonny wee wheat, it flourished just the same. The same, the same, it flourished just the same. Slowly, slowly, through its wing. It's a miracle, they say, and we'll make the claim that it happened right here in Claymont. Now, once or twice, they stole the wheat. The bonny, bonny wheat that was grown from the sea. And the local folk were so upset that they all rushed out for another one to get. Together, together, another wheat to get. For the local folk were so upset. They planted it and nurtured it and guarded it, you bet. And it happened right there in Claymont. Throughout December our wheat survived. It not only grew but began to thrive. The townsfolk all were so impressed that they shouted out loud, This town is blessed! Blessed, blessed, blessed the town is blessed! With cheerful voices one confessed, That's a miracle they say, and who could have guessed That it happened right here in Claymont? Now some folk decided both they and then To decorate the wheat and start a trend By hanging lights and decorations too the Christmas sweet reputation grew. It grew, it grew, its reputation grew. The Christmas sweet faith did it grew. It's a miracle they say, and out of the blue, it, it happened, happened right here in Claymont. Well done, well done. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. You know, there's more to this event today, more things that you can do. Uh, I really want to acknowledge some people. Uh, Mike Elder and the Claymont Fire Police and all the surrounding fire police associations who donated their time to set the parade. Detours and guide the traffic, which is great. Claymont Fire Company for their use of their meeting rooms and escorting Santa. Everyone saw Santa in the parade, right? And all the fire companies who donated their time and fire trucks in the parade. And I want to thank because they let me ride on top of a fire truck this year. Yes, I'm still 13 years old and that was so cool. Thank you. And the Claymont Community Coalition for sponsoring, organizing, and executing the parade. Inside the church, get yourself some cocoa, some cookies. And the Dolly House is open as well. Santa Claus is back and behind the library. So take the kids to go see Santa as well. And the Stone House has some great uh, exhibits of uh, gingerbread houses. So Darley House, Santa at the library, Stone House, and there's hot cocoa and cookies here. And what's that? One o'clock in the library. One o'clock in the library. The concert. The concert will be one o'clock in the library. Merry Christmas to all. Have a great day. If you would like to decorate the Christmas weed, please bring your ornament up and just get in line and decorate the Christmas weed.